what I loved about Rampage, one thing that I did have a takeaway was the C. I know it's a bit geeky, but like the CGI that they did showing the run. Very cool, really cool, isn't it? Very cool. That was yeah. nice, that one. It that yeah, was better Arrow than last thing. year's, I think, as well. The arrows yeah. thing was really cool. I think it made the runs look a lot longer than what they actually were because I remember watching the first one and it did it down. It took ages. I was like, "Fucking hell, this is going to be." It's like a cross country ride. This run, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, then. Yeah. Yeah, it's over like so quick. It's like a minute or a minute and a half or something there at the bottom. But yeah, I loved that. I thought it was really good. It yeah made it a lot more easy to understand and yeah yeah etc. That was really good. Big fan of that. A few other things. I'm sorry, just looking at a few notes that I really liked. Um, the mic'd up thing. I really liked that as well. Big fan of having a rider mic'd it's up. It's always cool, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if they I if they have done it before. I've not noticed it, but the first one I think was Dylan Stark. Uh, but then I think was it Reed Boggs that was like really vocal when he was riding he's like come on come on like doing that and then he landed a few things and he's shouting at the crowd I thought it was sick I was yeah that is rad isn't it yeah big I like fan it. of the mic'd up thing yeah it is cool so but, uh, can I go through notes as well and we can yeah, I reckon please. our notes will all align please. so my, my big takeaways well I guess Godsey's run I hate to be. I hate to feed into the whole like um, got robbed thing because it is annoying. But I really, really loved uh, Godzix run, and uh, mm. I was mm. kind of bummed. I, I I kind of felt like it was hit and miss whether it was him or or Reader. But for me, it swayed slightly towards him. But what I realised was that's that's basically because of my interpretation of what Rampage kind of should be. That I, as a judge, if I was judging, would judge him higher, and that's and yep. and what it basically comes down to is the single crown, dual crown, fork discussion, which is really difficult. What okay, are your in views? what way? Why do you, uh, what are my views on it? Yeah, I think I don't know in what way. Like, how would you open that up? What I mean, my view is it's personal choice initially. Like, that's just. I don't know. Does it even make much of a difference? It doesn't look like it does. I think if you want to open up bar spin tricks and tail whips, then you have to have them anyway. Um, but is that what Rampage is? I don't know. It's does a that, really good make... question because the last two Rampages, of course, have been won by single crowns. Is that correct? Single crown forks, yeah. yeah. So that's opening up tail whips and bar spins. It's opened up those things, which uh, I... I... You know, I completely see the argument from both sides. So Reader would say, well, look, the sport will stagnate unless you bring a new level to it. And actually, Reader's, the, half of the problem with Reader's, uh, with people maybe thinking Reader gets scored high, is actually because he lands stuff so smooth, he makes it look so easy. So he's almost cursed by that, you know? Like, mm. if, when you actually watch back his flip can drop, it's so absurdly big and crazy. But he lands yeah. it so smooth that you almost overlook it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's always been a problem with some of his stuff, right? Yeah, dialed guys, it's quite yeah. hard to judge. It's quite hard to put a number on their mm. runs, isn't it? Do you think as well, and I might be off on this, but the name of the athlete sometimes gives them a bit of a better score just oh, because mate, people so are so, hard, isn't it? Yeah. so highly anticipating Brett Reader or... yeah. You know, um, whoever. So I'm just trying to think. I would yeah. say, in all the judged events, we talked to Chop about this, and obviously there's a formula for slope style. There's a, it's still an interpretation of what goes on, but there is a formula, and it's pretty dialed how they judge those events. There are yeah. fewer surprises, I would say, at a um, slope style now, because mm -hmm. because Rampage is so kind of. It's it's so open to interpretation, you know. A run that not everyone isn't going down the same run. Um, yeah. Everyone isn't even doing the same things. When I'm there, I, it, the results don't even matter to me. But then when I'm viewing from home and obviously talking about it on the podcast, it's like I try and think about what I think should have happened. And I guess basically that's why I brought it up first. It gets me to this point. Right. Who, if you're talking about God's in reader. Like, yeah. who for you won it? And basically, they're both incredible runs. They both have massive hits. They both have... But to yeah. me... For me, yeah, the danger element of that three into the flip over the canyon gap yeah. was 
That's his rampage. Massive. That's really rampagey, isn't it? Even though, yeah. and, and that's on a made feature, the the canyon gap was a made feature. Yeah, it wasn't yeah, yeah. something yeah. that. But people were struggling to even clear the thing. Yeah. And then Godzi flipped it, so it's like, and the three into it, dude. You know, you, you just the three in that is so adds, gnarly, so gnarly. That adds so much like danger element to the whole thing. Just the whole everything about that putting a three in is mind blowing. Oh, so I've never three me, but. When you I, see I him land it in slow mo, I think it was Justin Olsen put up a uh, slow mo shot of of him landing the three, and then at that point you want to just like rein it in, grab anchor. You want to, you know what I yeah. mean? You've landed a three drop <laughs> yeah. or a massive drop, and you're landing on this like steep face. You want to pull pull your brakes, right? And just yeah. seeing Godzi not pull his brakes and tuck in, and he knows he's going to flip at that point. That is as rampage. So that moment is so sick. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, and and as I say again, that's on a built that the canyon part of that is a built feature. Like, he, like that was already there. Mm. Um, mm. I think that's but, that that was so cool for me gnarly. as a moment. And then he yeah. went straight into what flip suey after that. I don't know. That that was just so. so cool. That was um, yeah. But then I wish I'd we... watched them back again before yeah. we started. Yeah, I do as well. Honest. I really do. But um. But yeah, I know I can't even remember really Vida's run, but it must have been a winning. It was absolutely run, right? insane, and and yeah, it's it's difficult because it, obviously we sound like uh, you run the risk when you when you when you're doing a podcast, you run the risk of sounding like a little bit like you like your opinions. I don't really <laughs> value my opinion myself. I'm just as a topic of conversation. I feel like it's now at that point. Brett Reader will be able, he will have a way better argument and if we had him on and he talked he would be like the future of Rampage's single crown you know yeah, yeah and and probably we would sit here like doofuses and be like you're right Brett yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> but equally there's still a part of me that just thinks like we've already got slope style let's keep these uh, big right. mountain events I, I don't even know I, I, and I frankly I don't even care but I'm trying to for the podcast yeah no I, I appreciate what you've done there you've gone out on a whim and you've said something slightly controversial that it should be a big mountain event which means big mountain bikes which means downhill bike downhill bike Without, and, then, and, and then yeah and runs that triple crown forks yeah. traditional downhill bike yeah and I guess because it's not about the forks it's about how, what, how the run is informed so if you're building a load of like you could build a load of safe jumps down that mountain, and and I guess that's what it is. That's the mm. that's what you don't want to. Build. Oh, you mean so? So if you're obviously building trick jumps to do it, flip it whips, tail whips, the whole you... thing, yeah, and people get it, judged more, and and then you can yeah. put a bar spin on anything. That's what slope stars become. It's become a big trick. Mm. Stick a bar in there. Now it's maybe stick a bar in there and a bar back as well, and and it's it yeah. it becomes it gets to a point. I know that is the pushing the boundaries of a sport but it comes to a point where it's completely um you can't really you know it's like a gymnastics event mm. which is really sick for slope style there's just part of rampage to me and you watch earlier rampages they're just a bit more rough around the edges i guess it's the conversation that happens every year and uh yeah and, and is, again no, who right, cares what, right. what i i think i think so yeah <laughs> a lot of people but i i I think some athletes, some riders definitely left a few bits on the table as well. Got a nice safe first run in and then the wind came and kind of fucked things up. I think yeah. Zinc probably had a little bit more in the tank, to be honest. Big wet fart. Called... The wind was a big wet fart this big year. Big wet fart. Yeah. Big wet fart. Andre, I know, talk about judging again, but mm -hmm. Andrea was visibly pissed off at his score. Yep, yeah, he said it's his last, he's not doing Rampage again. We'll see what, whether it happens, obviously. Did he really? Like, a year's a long time and he's a uh, Rampage legend he and it would be a real right? shame yeah he is rampage yeah and it would be a real shame to lose him but um mm. I, I i felt he was probably underscored i'll be honest i thought that was quite a quite a heavy run um yeah i think so it's classic laconda guy yeah um what did he say that on social media or is this did he say it on the where i can't remember broadcast. Where, i think he's said it's his last rampage or something yeah that's sad that's real sad yeah isn't it um but yeah i mean like you say the wind was a massive wet fart unfortunately it did kind of spoil it a little bit i think it was cool seeing the 
everyone has each other's backs. I know you've spoke about that before as well at Rampage, but when T-Mac was at the top of the course and it was all the other riders saying, I don't know to drop in, dude, you don't need to do this. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of cool, all, like looking out for each other and stuff. Yeah. Um, the pointless I danger also, of the wind, it sucks. It's so annoying. Danger. It's so annoying. So yeah. to any of our listeners that maybe have done small jumps or don't have experience of wind blowing you, there's nothing you can plan for. And, in, and the bigger the jump, the worse it gets. So there's no way you can... You can whip into the wind, but it doesn't really... It doesn't really... It's not predictable. And when you crash, it's the most dangerous crash. And the thing about Rampage is if you're... If you're adding further danger to something that's already dangerous, it's just exposure we're talking about. You're going to have yeah. a crash that you can't control in a situation that you really don't want to be in. You know, in a in a on a crazy ledge or something like that. And that's really yeah. why it's frustrating to watch and be like, ah, the wind, come on, just drop in. It's a big show. It's not. It's it's actually at rampage. It's like it is life and death. It's not even being cliched and, and uh, ridiculous. There's points mm. on the trail that aren't even hard that you can have a mistake on and die. It's like if the For wind, sure. if the if if the power is taken out of your hands, then you're you'd be crazy to drop in. So mm. yeah, mm. the wind is annoying. I, um, yeah, it is annoying, man. It is a shame, isn't it? Really, because it's just so much hype, so much build up. Everyone's sat there around the TV, yeah. whatever, having watch parties, and then it's like. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it was a bit annoying, but hey, it is what it is. It's mountain bike, and I guess yeah. it's in the elements. We're not in a stadium. It's simple as that, isn't it? I've got That's one more that. note to put. Me in. too. Please. I wonder if it's the same. Probably not. Okay, so the, my my last note was, um, there was a grind rail <laughs> at Rampage. I know, and and I don't know where i sit with that i think i know that the, the know commentators I... obviously <laughs> yeah, okay beautiful so the commentators obviously missed it mm. i heard the ching and was like I'm sure that was a rail or was that something to do with the television broadcast i don't quite know yeah because it kind of scooted past it right yeah and then uh it obviously came to like further in the broadcast when regatkin was like oh he had a grind rail up there he must have done a i don't know crank grind or pedal stop, yeah i don't know pedal grind whatever anyway so my my thing was like that shouldn't be there but anyway what's your thing <laughs> yeah same like i think yeah. he's cool as anything and he and it was a cool like what he's a cool wild card edition obviously who was it who used it dylan oh, i was Dylan Stark. Stark. yeah yeah so it, okay. he's obviously come from bmx so it, it makes um you know it has story behind it so that's cool but equally i just think um definitely put that uh, get the scrap guys in I'd just yeah if I'd been there I probably would have called in the scrap guys I would have been just like yeah guys there's a there's, I've got some scrap metal for you, uh, yeah. you honestly you can have it for free I'm not even going to ask a walk. For this. it's a long walk it's a long walk but it's, yeah it, I'd really it's appreciate distant. if you got rid of it and then I'd be like also there's a fridge in my drive which there is <laughs> no I, I, I uh, yeah I don't know it's funny, yeah. it's funny these things it's just like where do you stop because then you start people just start building like skate parks down the whole mountain you'd have to put a you'd have to put a uh, yeah. I don't know it's funny I like it though because it's a freedom freedom of expression in some ways also it's it's like a, but it's, like where does that start yeah, like you said exactly, so, yeah. okay so it's all it's all man made but then could you just carry up a quarter pipe yeah exactly and just and just like, well we're not going to build there we're just going to put this there yeah. instead exactly it's like disrupting class if the teacher finds it funny they're sort of like yeah all right i appreciate that was funny and it was clever but now yeah. stop it stops yeah, here totally so n let's not do that anymore hopefully that doesn't happen again <laughs> <laughs> you really went into it yeah. what was bren's opinion was bren the same as you <laughs> mate i found that there was something so funny because it was windy it, there was wind warnings and then they were obviously searching for for stuff to talk about. I think it was the bit that you were talking about. <laughs> and then there was just this zoom in from the drone of just this solitary shitty rail <laughs> on a flat drone. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, just, it was something so funny about it and so miserable. 
<laughs> you know what? I like the backup technique. I think it's like things are getting tough to talk about. Bring bring in the rail, Nikolai. In. Bring it. Oh, well, bring Nikolai, in the rail, but also Nikolai, brilliant, bring in Nikolai. He? Brings the energy, oh, mate, dude. What a guy! So good. He is really he's brilliant. So good. I actually saw him um, doing the. Uh, he does like the expert analysis at Crankworks event. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!